How's it going guys, Vlad here and in today's tutorial we're going to be looking at driving a DC motor. So I have the motor that I've used in the previous assembly tutorial from the robot. So a simple uh, DC motor with a gearbox. I have the Arduino itself. I have a 12 voltage power supply coming into one of my rails on the breadboard. And I have two modules so I'm going to be demonstrating a speed control based on voltage variation. So we're going to step down the voltage to a different level and see how that affects the speed of our motor and I have a L298 uh, and driver so this is a dual age bridge driver for DC motors or it can also be used for stepper motors so a very useful module to uh, have in order to drive uh, the motors at a variable speed so we're going to like I said walk through both of the drivers we're going to look at uh, what it takes to drive the uh, motor at different speeds using the Arduino and yeah so hopefully that will be uh, useful for some of you so let's jump right in. So the number one challenge of any motor driver is uh, to be able to drive the motor at variable speeds so in the case of a DC motor you can imagine that uh, the way you would do this is by applying a different voltage to the leads of the motor. Uh, what I have here is like I mentioned a DC to DC uh, buck uh, step down converter so basically what it does is it can it takes the 12 voltages uh, that I have on this rail and steps it down based on the potentiometer to a lower voltage so if we connect the motor uh, we can see what is going to happen so obviously the motor is going to start to spin as you can see it is going at a fairly slow speed and this is also based on the gearbox so the motor itself is going a bit faster but if I change the potentiometer on the module and allow more voltage to flow through the motor let's see what will happen so as I rotate as I rotate the potentiometer knob you can see that the motor is speeding up quite a bit and I think the highest voltage it will allow us to go is obviously the 12 volts. So if we go all the way up. So this would be the highest speed at which the motor will go. And we will walk back down. So this is a very important concept to understand. Basically. Uh, based on the voltage you apply your DC motor will drive at a variable speed so you can already imagine that you can control this with a PWM output from your Arduino one thing you want to watch out for is as I've mentioned er, uh, in other tutorials is that your Arduino is unable to source uh, 1.2 amps of current which this motor requires just on an empty gearbox so even more under load so uh, you cannot simply connect your PWM pin from the Arduino into this motor or you will fry the Arduino. So that's something you want to pay close attention to. So you're probably wondering, uh, if you're not familiar with this, why would you need an age bridge in order to drive a uh, DC motor? So uh, as you've already seen, you can drive high current uh, loads through a relay, through a transistor, through a MOSFET. So there are many solutions which you can use in order to drive this motor, but what they don't allow you to do is to drive your uh, motor in both directions so forward and reverse and uh, you will see a diagram of the age bridge on your screen right now and you will uh, understand a little bit better why uh, this device actually it has the basic functionality is that it has four transistors which will uh, toggle in pairs and allow you to drive current both ways so uh, imagine these two leads being uh, positive and negative so if you connect them to positive and negative on your rail let me just quickly demonstrate it will make it a bit easier for you so if I plug them in this way you can see that the motor is going uh, counterclockwise if I reverse the leads it should go uh, clockwise so you get to uh, a bi-directional movement so the H bridge will allow you to go in two directions uh, on top of allowing you to um, essentially inputting a PWM signal into the controls uh, to, to be able to drive it with your Arduino or any other microcontroller. So 
two functions. So number one, it's going uh, forward and reverse. And number two is allow you to input a uh, low voltage signal in order to drive a heavier load. So let's take a look at the wiring. Let's take a look at the code for the H bridge. So we wanna make a couple of connections to our H bridge. So obviously you want to connect the motor to the output pins. So there's gonna be two pins labeled output one and output two. You also want to bring the 12 voltage bus into the input. It's labeled uh, 12 volts ground as well as five volts. So the five volts goes back uh, into the Arduino. That's going to be the control circuit. I also uh, placed a common ground between the Arduino and the 12 voltage bus. So this, this is very important in order not to have any floating voltages. Um, I have two pins going to pin three and four of the Arduino. So this is going to determine the direction of the motor. And last but not least, pin number five goes to the enable of the H bridge. So this is the pin that I'm going to be using uh, with pulse width modulation in order to control the speed of the motor. So with all the uh, connections complete, uh, we will uh, start programming and see how we can achieve uh, dual direction and a variable speed on this DC motor. So here's a simple uh, demo program for the motor driver. As I've told you earlier, pins three and four are gonna be used for the direction of the motor. Pin number five is going to be the enable. So that's the pin which has a PWM signal on the Arduino. In the setup function, we have all of them go into output. So both uh, set pins as well, as well as the enable. In the loop, you have first and foremost, I'm trying to achieve forward motion. So I'm going to set uh, output number one to low, number two to high. And then I'm going to do a very simple four uh, loop sweep going from 70 all the way to 255 um, PWM signal. So the reason for 70 is that below that the motor stalls. So that just draws uh, extra current. If you want to try it on your own, uh, then it's just going to give you like a squeal. It's not going to actually start the motor. So you need at least a certain, um, a certain PWM uh, width in order to uh, start the motor. So that was the the reasoning behind that. So all I'm doing is driving uh, the enable pin with the appropriate signal. I have a delay of 50 milliseconds in that in order to make that transition. So the motor is going to start slow. It's going to incrementally go up in speed, followed by a reverse motion. So notice how the pin one is, now is now is set to high, pin number two is set to low. And I have a exactly the same uh, loop, so it goes from slow to fast. So if I verify the program, I should have no mistakes. Upload, and I'm going to plug in the pin on my Arduino. So what you're going to observe is that the motor is going to start slow, ramp up and speed, go all the way up, and then uh, very abruptly, so to speak, reverse the motion and go through the same routine over again. So I don't know if it will, if it will be better seen on a wheel. Let me just quickly connect one on the motor. May make it a bit easier to see. So. That's me stalling the motor a little bit, but as you can see, it ramps up in speed, reverses direction, starts with a slower speed, and then goes up in speed accordingly. And uh, that's the that's pretty much the um, the way you can control the speed of your uh, of your wheels, as well as the direction with the Arduino. So, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you've learned something. Uh, you can find this module on my uh, website staticjolt.com leave me some comments if you have any questions with regards to the tutorial if you want me to um do anything else and uh yeah as always thanks thank you guys for watching see you next time bye use to hold that assembly together so i'm going to insert both of them before tightening anything so two screws like so and then 
there's going to be a nut on each one of the screws. So let me just tighten that really quick. I guess in this case you need to tighten the screw instead. I'm gonna leave it loose for now just so I can align them a bit better once uh, both the motors are mounted as well as the wheels. So for now it's just going to stay um, as is. Just tighten it a little bit. No need to fully uh, close that motor. The second